Welcome everyone to another episode of Random Gaming with me, Classic Gamer. And yes, of course, it's the brilliant and classic Age of Empires 2, uh, The Forgot, The Forgotten. Well, I'm not going to do anything like the single player or anything today. Uh, that will be probably for another day, maybe even an LP at some stage. But I'm going to do the Learn to Play campaign. And we're going to do this one at the end um, because this is all like, you know, uh, training and stuff so I will go through that at some point but not today but I'm going to show you um, the best mission the only way we um, in is it going to skip? yes the English could attack at any time you have some walls already but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone uh, okay, right. I've got into a little bit of a problem here. Right, I need to change the location of my. That's better. Um, how do you. I need to zoom in. Okay, well, it's fine. So, first thing you need to do, you need to make your. Villagers mine for stone. Then you want to mine. If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. You need, you need um, get enough. Uh, we can upgrade actually. Um, Oh. Right, so this one you play as a Scottish, uh, the Sc the Scots, um, and it's actually a really, really good. I'm just trying to remember how to do this. Here. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Um, so, first thing we need to do is build a. You can also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection. Archers can even fire out of a tower. So you want to send all of these guys to build um, walls. That's the first thing you need to get up and going with this level. Uh, this is still training, so you're, you're still learning. It's not that difficult, but the other missions in the game are hard. With this game, I, I, I basically excel at it. It's a game that I have got so good at. Um, I actually was at college once and we we did a, at the end of the term, we had a chance to play Age of Empires 1 and I was playing it with, um, and I, I was the only one without a uh, partner, without a guy. To build a to castle, help. you must first advance to the next age, the castle age. So you need to build um, towers as well for protection, and we need to get our army going to gathering. We're not going to advance just yet. Um, what is the objective of this? Build a castle, destroy the English castle. So yeah, we need to attack the English castle. The English are all the way over the here. The advance button lets you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near him. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons on the lower left corner of the screen. Using the advance buttons, you can also order a soldier to patrol so they're, they're an area out between posts. two points. So these guide. are our outposts and they or basically four. tell us what Another is being attacked. Point. So they're not ones that you can gather in or anything like that, but it doesn't matter too much. So we now need to obviously get enough food. Um, we've got plenty of gold. You have enough resources to go to the castle age. You should do that soon. I might advance actually. It's actually worth advancing because your things are upgraded. So you want to you want to make sure that you get enough food. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit such as a monk. Yes, yeah, so 
I think this has been improved, this game, actually. Oh, no, you're going outside. No, 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 you can't go out there. You can't. Right, actually. No, he's already done it. Ah. Oh. Right. This is a little bit of a cheat. Or not really a cheat, but it will make things easier for when attacking the English because we need to go over this way to some maybe protect. Yeah, you can see them attacking there. So you, you play as the Scots in this, obviously, and it's a nice game mode. You know, it sort of sets the tone, uh, makes it uh, quite. But you've only got a limited supply of resources in this area, so you haven't really got anything. Um, like once you got rid of the stone, that's it. The stone's gone. Uh, we haven't really got room for a castle either in this area, with the exception of maybe somewhere around here, possibly. But we now need to build, get some uh, soldiers going. Yeah, we've not got enough food. We've only got 15 gold, so it's not good. Congratulations. You're going to find lots of things to do in the castle age. For starters, try building a siege workshop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Put some gold over here. Um, I'm going to claim that as my own. So I'm going to get um, a villager to build defences around it. Not a big defence. Um, actually, yeah, probably. That's not even worth it, is it really? Okay, so I could include it in my area, but what what I might do is put like when this gold is gone, I'll put the castle probably here or a bit further back maybe. So you you want to explore this area and maybe sort of get rid of the trees to maybe make room for the castle. So, you want to build uh, some towers. We've already got a siege, a siege workshop, haven't we? No, we've got blacksmith for the siege workshop. So we now can upgrade our um, horses and our army. And what we're going to do, we're going to get the... You may need to assign extra villagers to gather stone so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you'll need. So once a food farm has been completely um, done, we need to more. So you want to get all your army together. Yeah, you want to upgrade as early as possible. You do want to get a... a siege workshop, which you want to put probably more at the back. I've never been, I've never been actually been attacked on this. Never sort of I haven't been defeated because if you can't do this level, then you it's poor. I'd say the least. This is probably going to be a two-part. Um, random gaming. Uh, I don't really know if that's, that's not normally what I do. Random gaming is just one part, but I think it's, it, it needs to be two parts. I might actually build maybe my stone walls sort of down here a little bit. Try and enclose this in mine, make it a bit bigger. Give me a little bit more protection. I always build two walls, so I build like a wall down to here and a wall across there. But I need to have this place mine, so Gia. the English will attack my villagers. Good job! With your new siege workshop, you can make battering rams. Rams are slow, but they're resistant to arrow fire and excellent at knocking down walls. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. So you want to build, um, I might do a small army over to the English. 
but I'll probably get all get defeated pretty easily. But it'll just be to show you guys. So you want to build a fence oh, yeah. for this area. And now you've got this. Kill me. Oh shit, look, there's the English. They're not attacking us for some reason, so it's quite fun. But we need some defence. Uh, it might be worth actually getting some, maybe getting a couple of knights just to stand here. So you want to upgrade your, bit, your people, so you've got like uh, Leeks Skirtman, or Skip Masher rather, and a Crossbowman. Crossbowmen are, are, are really good. Um, so you've got plenty of wood here. Uh, just keep gather as much wood as you physically can. Yep, they're already attacking it. Come on, villager. I'm being handed, this is being handed to me. Now he wants that as, as his own, so I need I need to make this place my uh, mine, basically.
destroyed my arches and stuff. Powering me, I don't get it. being overwhelmed by the Focus purely on making troops.
you can have a 10 at a time. Research stuff as soon as you can. I mean, I need to get down to that stone down there, but I can't. I've not got. I haven't got any defensive at all. Two minutes already. <coughs> oh, my God, they're attacking me from that side now. Yeah, this this battle's done. I mean, I can't I can't win against this. There's no way I can win against this. I'm, I normally am great at this. I'll have to practice to think this level, try and get better at it. But that'll be for another day, I think.
Right, this will mean that I can now gather stone without get the last of this. Well, there's not much here, so I'll abandon this once it's all gone. But I need all the stone I can get. I'm not sure there's any more stone over here. I think there might well be, which might have been actually easier. Let's send it out a scout. This level isn't hard, hard, but you need to keep your wits about you. I think I might actually come back to this in another random video, so I may even add this to Let's Play a Age of Empires. Um, just do very, because you don't need to do like all the missions in the game, but you can do a couple of like death matches and just where like you have endless supplies, so you can just like upgrade your heart's content. So we can abandon this place soon. going for the gold. That's what they're going for. Right, time to send. Cool. Enough. 
Kamboja. It's probably a stupid idea, but I need I need to get this I need to get this gold. This is really important because my gold is just dwindling. So there's 800 each. So if we can get it all, then we're pretty secure, basically. Dock, we need we need the dock so we can get some uh, get some more food. I'm going to call this a video and I'm not going to actually do this as a random gaming I don't think. I'm going to do it as kind of a two part special. So let's just save it. And um, I'll thank you for watching. And Actually no I will put it in random gaming. It'll be a two part random gaming special. So yeah until next time guys thanks for watching and I'll see you then.
Zerkaufen. 